What's up guys, this is Lucky from NightCodeGuides.com and today I'm going to be doing a gun guide on the CZ75 Auto. So, it was introduced to the game about 2-3 months ago, maybe even 4, I have no idea. And this pistol probably has the biggest impact on the game. Um, eco rounds are a little harder because of it. It's an automatic pistol, um, its damage is really really high, and overall, uh, its mobility while shooting is also really really um, detrimental, or not detrimental, but really effective during uh, eco rounds. So what I'm first going to do is show you the spray pattern, show you tips you can do with the pistol, uh, how to shoot with it, and then afterwards I'll put some bots on the server and then show you guys how to probably use this against people and hopefully it helps you out. So pretty much this is how the recoil looks, um, let's say from a far range, about medium range like this. So. As you can see, it's not very accurate if you spray it, um, but I didn't recommend spraying from far range. Tapping really is really uh, good when you're farther from people. Um, be warned though, the pistol only has 24 bullets in total and 12 a clip, so um, pis or pistol or no bullet management is a uh, priority when buying this. Um, it is $300, so you can buy it on any eco round you want. It's pretty cheap. Like let's say you have 1,900, just I'd. I'd buy this pistol over a nade or something like that simply because uh, a kill is like $300 anyways so you get your money back if you get a kill and more than likely you get two kills because this pistol is so OP. But anyways, um, tapping uh, in farther distances is a lot better than spraying. Uh, my bullets are a little more centered and they go a little bit better and uh, they're a little bit more um, just centered. Yeah, I usually use the word, sorry I'm a little bit out of it, but anyways. So, um, like I said, far distances, always tap, but in close distances, the gun works pretty well. Um, I do have infinite ammo, so like my bullets aren't depleting at all, but that right there would have been the whole clip wasted, and you really don't want to do that. This pistol takes about two or three shots and you end up killing somebody. But anyways, so... So the spray pattern is, is it just goes up and then it goes right and like goes diagonal. So all you have to do is just hold down the mouse and then try moving it. But the pistol is really, this is probably the most difficult gun to control, but at the same time it's like, it's one of the best guns because you can just single handedly win around for your team by getting two kills, two really important kills. So um, anyways, that's pretty much the general overview of the map. Um, the gun can be shot while running. As you can see my bullets are really accurate. Like most pistols, it's kind of like this, but um, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to do it against bots. And I'm just going to put bots on this map, run around, shoot them a little bit, and show you guys how to um, use the gun from long, okay, guys, medium, and short range. Bots to so, yeah. I will now be showing you how to properly use this weapon against bots. Uh, like I said, I'll show you how to do it close range, medium range, long range. And I'll show you like the, the cons of spraying really close, or the cons of spraying, spraying really far, and tapping close and stuff. So. First, I'm going to start off with that bot that's all the way down there. I'll show you the spray, and um, from there you can judge whether it's really good long range or not. So, as you can see, literally my gun, like my bullets ran to the ground, and I wouldn't have been able to kill him. So in distances like these, you just have to just tap, tap your gun, and you'll be able to get more kills with it. Um, this gun is more about close range than it is long range. So like let's say you're playing the train, you guys use an eco as a CT, you want to get really aggressive ladder train and you want to really get aggressive team mid and I mean just get close up in their faces. And from there you'll get easy kills because the guy is really broken. So moving on to the next business of order or the next order of business. Yeah, wow, I said that backwards. Don't quote me on that number. But the next order of business is Nah, I'm still laughing as a business of order. But anyways, um, next what you want to do um, is tapping. Tapping is also great with this pistol. And it does take two two shots to kill somebody if you're uh, aiming in the head. So if you shoot them once, you just want to continue shooting them because let's say you get two, two dinks off of them, they're dead because two bullets kill some people. See? Anyways, so. Tapping, 
is a lot better than spraying. Like I said, spraying will not kill somebody unless you're like a god with a gun. But it will not kill somebody from far range unless you're pinned on dust tube and bomb is planted and a site planted for long and you have this gun with 12 bullets, don't spray your gun. If you spray your gun, you're gonna you're gonna lose the round because you're out of bullets for one. Only 24 bullets. And tapping just so much better. As you can see. Anyways, now I'm gonna show you bursting. Or not bursting. Ah, bursting, yeah, actually bursting. Bursting is easy as well. Oh my god, the blue things are screaming up in here. Bursting is something else you can do with the weapon. Um, it's not as good as tapping, but it's something you can do. Um, I still recommend tapping over bursting any day of the week, but if you're really stuck in a dilemma where you need a burst, um, I'd use about three or four, maybe, let's see, about four or five bullets at a time and then wait. But generally, you just want to tap. This, these are the bullets look when you burst. So they stay in a centered area, but you really just never want to burst. Um, tapping is so much more effective. Alright, anyways, for the final part of this video, I will show you close range with this gun. And um, of course it won't be as if it's like in a match, or so a match setting or something like that, because these are boss, they don't move, they don't shoot me, they just stand still and let me kill them. So, anyways, so let's see you peeing in the corner. The gun is really accurate close range. You can literally put on clinics. Oh god, I'm back. So, you need to get a really good feel for the gun. Um, 12 bullets isn't enough for a pistol, so you have to get used to how little of ammunition you have. So, going to DM or something, practice this for like about five minutes. Like, you really don't need that much time. Just practice how, how little bullets there are. Like, play scrim, use a gun. But, anyways, guys, this is Lucky from MechoGuides.com, bringing you a gun guide on the CZ75 automatic. Um, for more content like this for myself or other pros, please go to netcodeguides.com, uh, subscribe, look at our videos, we post one free video maybe a week or something like that, but it really does help you get, get become better at the game. And I really do hope this video is informative, um, hope you learned something new that you didn't learn before. But thank you and have a great day.